Hello everyone. Welcome to Hydropower. Today we will be discussing about the processing of hydrological data. Where we will talk about its introduction and a brief overview on it. So, let's start with Introduction Processing hydrological data involves several steps to analyze and interpret information related to water flow in rivers, streams, and other water bodies. Effective processing of hydrological data provides valuable insights into the behavior of water systems, supporting informed decisions and sustainable water resource processing management. Now let's go with the brief overview. The processing of the hydrological data can be done on the basis of different factors and parameters. Here's a brief overview. Data collection, gather of the from data process, monitoring stations, which measure parameters like discharge, water level, rainfall, and temperature. This data is often collected at regular intervals. Quality control, check data for errors, gaps, or inconsistencies. Remove or correct any erroneous or missing data points. Data preparation, organize and format the data for analysis. This may involve creating time series datasets and combining data from various sources. Exploratory data analysis, explore the data using graphical and statistical methods. EDA helps identify trends, patterns, and outliers. Hydrograph analysis, Create hydrographs to visualize flow discharge and patterns measurement instrument hydrological events like floods or droughts. Frequency analysis, determine the frequency of different flow levels using techniques like probability distributions. This helps assess the likelihood of extreme events. Flow duration curve. Construct a flow duration curve to show the percentage of time different flow rates are exceeded. This helps understand flow flow variability. Statistical analysis, apply statistical methods to assess relationships between variables, e.g. rainfall and runoff, and quantify uncertainty. Modeling, develop hydrological models to simulate and predict water flow based on inputs like rainfall, land use, and topography. Calibration and validation, adjust model parameters to match observed data and test the model's accuracy using independent data. Trend analysis, detect long-term trends in hydrological data to understand changes in flow patterns over time. Extreme event analysis, study historical records to analyze extreme events like floods or droughts, helping in disaster preparedness and management. Reporting, summarize findings in reports or presentations, highlighting key insights, trends, and implications for water resource management. Decision making, use process data and analyses to inform water-related decisions, such as flood mitigation, water supply planning, and environmental protection. Thank you. See you in next video.